guys. Mm. E46 F80. Put wheel outside. MDX. Where is the E36? Park on the street down there. On today's video, I'm actually swapping this racing seat right here and put the factory seat. Hello again, guys. If this is the first time you stop by the channel, make sure that you smash that subscribe button, hit the notification icon. Also, like the video if you like what I'm doing, this type of content. And when you do that, you know, it really helps the channel a lot. It helped me grow, and I really, really, really appreciate that. If you can see from my, by my demeanor, I'm not feeling too well, but I really wanted to change those seats right there on that car and put the factory one because that one is just uncomfortable whenever I'm driving it and yeah that is the F80 and as you can see right there is the E36 I know I know I know I haven't made a lot of content about this car recently that's just because I don't have much to do I'm kind of waiting for my warranty to run out so I can do like mods on the engine if I do but um, I'm also kind of saving a little bit of money because I really 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 would like to change this hood and put the GTS CS hood the one that had like the little bit bump and the hole here for the air to come in so that you can push for um, more grip on the front also want to change these uh, headlight to put the 2018 SCI you know LED because it looks just badass both of them combined with the um, GTS on the back goodness it will make the car look so awesome that's exactly what i'm trying to do and those don't <laughs> are not cheap trust me on a used set of this it's about 3500 this one if you want to find a good one that fits properly you need to have at least 1500 so yeah those two mods combined could be five grand now i don't make that kind of money nope so i'm taking my time you know if i see a good deal or whatnot probably i'm gonna go ahead and do that but for now i just enjoy the car i just you know take it or uh, sometimes on weekend sometimes to work when you have three cars it's a little challenging to decide which one to drive so whenever i feel like driving one i just drive it you know but this one um i drive it too much around the block sometimes um, you know go to work go to car meets and stuff i took that one to a car meet and a lot of people love it look look how sexy she is yeah and i think i need to stop driving this one too much because at one point i was driving that a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot, a lot because it's the only manual car that i have so sometimes when i want to rip it around the twisties in my neighborhood yep that's the only one i can take for that but um once this one is 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 set where i want it to be i'm gonna try to do that with this one because there's a lot of little maintenance things that i want to complete on the car before i start to kind of push it a little bit right now i just do more like cruising because i you know like radiator i think i want to replace all those things before i can push the car a little bit that one it's 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 a little different it's a race car so i need to push it regardless this one i doubt i will be taking it to the track but don't quote me on that one i don't know yet um you know i've changed my mind so much um lately actually these past two days i've had even um plans about selling the car I actually even posted this car online this e36 so if you want to buy it go on the groups and you see it there um i'm not i'm not sure even why i'm posting it because i don't want to sell it i want to sell it it's, it's a weird thing it's just that that e36 has so much thing that i need to do in order for that to be where i want it to be where i feel like it would be a safe car to drive on a track remember i'm a novice driver so i i'm pretty sure i'm gonna make mistakes i'm gonna do stuff and i want to make sure that the car is set is correct so that whenever i make those mistakes i'm not the guy spoiling oil all over the place cooling or whatever and putting other racer in you know in danger or whatever i really don't want to be that guy and that's why i want to make sure that the car is super super ready before i can take it to the track yeah, when I took that car to get it inspected, that guy gave me a lot, a lot of advice and recommendation. Those are, you know, pros, and I really, really take that into consideration. That's why um, I'm, I have different expectations from before, you know. So, yeah, um, these are the CSL replica wheels. Those are probably going to be the winter set for that car right there. This is the Apex. Don't mind the trash right here. 
This is the Apex. This is the summer wheels for the E36. And the winter set for the F80 is downstairs. Yeah, those are the 437M spare with some winter compound. Yeah, each car has their own set of tires and wheels. That's crazy. And as you can see in the back, I was supposed to replace this bumper. I haven't done it. Yeah. And actually, oh, down down here, this, this right here is actually the control arm that I removed. You can see that it was completely, completely gone. And this is the wrong bushing that it had in there for some reason. I'm not sure who did it, but not sure. I am definitely not sure. So enough talking. Let's go ahead and start um, working on the car. I think uh, to remove the seat is, I think, 4, 16 bolt that we have to remove. Unplug the airbag cable, take the seat out, put the new one, plug the cable, and then um, put back those four bolts. And that's as far as that is, unless I find any type of complication so let me actually go ahead and start doing that and take you along on this uh, quick diy so as i mentioned earlier four bolts one right here one right here and then the one on that side one on that side on the bottom then you unplug there's a cable under there that you will unplug and that's it the seat come out and then you install the other one you do the opposite it's pretty simple so I'll go ahead and remove those four bolts so usually what you do is to remove the front you pull the seat on the back unscrew those and to do the, the back you push the seat to the front and unscrew those two then tilt it a little bit unplug the cable then remove the seat that's exactly what i'm going to do right now but i need to find a placement for the camera so you guys can see me do that so i remove the NRG seat as you can see that's how it is looking and this is the factory seat here if you have to compare both now just by carrying this one I can tell you that this one will pretty much maybe three times that one that one is fully manual there's only one way adjustable which is this it doesn't recline it doesn't do anything it's only move front and back now this one has all type of you know power things that are you know I would like to use right because being upright when you drive for like two hours is not the best comfort now being able to recline and all of that is good but on the track this is definitely the seat that you want to have because you want to make sure that you have the perfect ride uh, position that will help you you know see the front properly but when you're just cruising you don't need all of that so now to mount this i have to install the seat belt which is a uh, seat belt bracket which is right here you know right here it stays kind of right here this is where you put your seat belt so this was more of a um 13 millimeter bolt that i removed right here it was with this thing right here and it stays on the seat so when you have the racing seat you have to remove this and then mount it on the racing seat it has actually a, there's a bracket for that which is this bracket right here now on the factory you see it goes this way with this uh, thing right here so that's how you mount it now let me go ahead and reverse everything i'm going to show you everything once it is mounted now these type of screw go in here and these nuts not this one actually these nuts actually go right here pretty simple so you go ahead and plug this whenever you mount this one you're going to plug it to here and then everything is going to be good all right because on the e46 on the bottom there there's only one plug when you are using the racing seat you actually remove this plug on the left and then the plug on the right you only keep the one in the middle because that's the one that uh, we control the seat belt now to remove these two plug right here all you do is lift this little tab right here you lift that tab lift this tab at the same time pull this black cover on the side and then you can pull those while you're out then you know also you make sure that you coat the airbag so that you don't have airbag like now these are just what is going to provide juice so that you can have reclining seat and whatnot so now that i put that back in here i'll go ahead and mount the seat and then plug everything finally i am done everything is secured and now we have a black all around let me actually sit oh man this is much lower than i was expecting yeah. move that up a little bit like this adjust it oh yeah much better much better much better all right man this was it this was today's video alcantara steering wheel i love it you know it, it grips pretty well when you're driving man
this car is beautiful nice little legend on this note man like i said see you on the next video thank you for watching make sure that you subscribe follow me on instagram and if you have any comment on items that i need to do on this car or any other car that i own like that one this one or that one right there that's the other seat feel free to let me know follow me on instagram at torbeck motors and yeah again be safe guys thank you again for watching